this is Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. Alright, finally we're going to talk to Hilda here. What's your favorite class type so far with what you've done? I haven't done enough to really know. I mean, I think the summoner seems really fucking cool. Um, but I like my melee guy too with his charges and his stomp and all that. So far, Fane is pretty underwhelming as a rogue type. At least until he gets some better weapons or something. And Sabeel is kind of underwhelming as well as an enchanter. Although, I think she's going to be more useful now that I got her some new skills. She can heal and stuff now. You're going to start your playthrough up here next to you? What do you mean? I don't understand. I think you blame me with the garbage they got for sale around here. Okay, so now now that we've done some stealing, she has a lot of gold and other things that I want, like resurrection scrolls. So I could sell anything that I need to sell at this time. That's some pretty nice armor as well. That's some pretty nice armor. But it's very expensive. Hilda doesn't think this breastplate comes in handy in a prison, so she's selling it. Oh yeah, and we're reading the description of all the items. As we always do. A mallet, a toy crossbow. This is technically an upgrade over what I'm using, but it's not enough of an upgrade that I would pay 132 gold for it. Shank. Poison arrow, a wizard hat, a scale helmet. That's nice. A mass chainmail helmet of standard craftsmanship. Nothing special, just the head covering of a regular citizen. Robust in design, chainmail armor is a perennial favorite of fighters. I already got some of that. Elaborate knee pads. The worksmanship on these supple leather trousers is particularly fastidious. Every stitch perfectly spaced, every edge carefully reinforced. And in these very lovely boots. Chainmail boots for stomping around in. You won't be quiet, but at least you won't stub your toes. Repair item, identify item. What do I need to repair? Like if I wanted to repair, ah, I can see, I can Press show my equipped items. So durability 20. It looks like armor doesn't have durability, only weapons. So that's nice. Does anybody have a weapon that needs to be repaired? I don't think so. We've barely fought. Oh, wands don't have durability either, but staffs do. Interesting. Okay. You're gonna play while watching on my side monitor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Perhaps if those bleeding that that makes sense. So you have Loth or whatever has an enchanter, and it seems last blaster. Well, mo I just wanted somebody who's going to be good at water magic to be my healer, honestly. And then I'm planning to spec her into other types of magic. So with with her, my enchanter, I'm going to have her get fire and and stone magic, geomancy, and just be a general purpose wizard who's going to cast spells from all the elements, whichever are the best spells, basically. And then the summoner is going to focus real hard on summoning, but I might get her a couple of extra little types of magic, like a heal and, you know, something else if it really goes well with her summoning stuff. But she's going to focus mainly on lots and lots of summoning skill. And then my rogue, of course, is going to do pretty typical rogue stuff. And so is my... Although, I'm going to get him some magic that lets him do poison damage, like Geomancy, so he can throw some poison down to heal himself with as well. And... Also, my main guy is going to get a few other skills that will help Let's him with heals and stuff too. So I kind of want everybody in the party to have some healing capability. Because I really like healing in general as a thing. Okay, what am I going to sell? 
in my backpack. Can't open the backpack while in the st store. Okay, whatever. Like, do I want things like bottles of beer and bottles of wine? Because I could sell them for quite a bit, it looks like. And mugs of beer. Maybe I'm going to sell these things. Maybe I'm going to sell all this booze. I can't imagine it being that useful for... Um... Crafting or whatever, and it's not like it... Heals you. Beasts. Tomato sauce... I'll keep all the food and other things that seem like it could be used for potions. I don't know if I can use shells. For shells aren't really worth much. They're only worth one gold apiece, so I'll hold on to them. Am I ever going to use these grenades? Because they're pretty fucking valuable, and I have a feeling that what's going to actually happen in the real world is I'm never going to use these. I'm just going to carry them around forever and ever. So I think I'm going to sell these grenades. I don't think I need lockpicks because my... I'm going to hold on to the lockpicks though, just in case. Okay, I don't need this sword. I don't need this sword. I don't need this bow. I don't need these buckets. I'm going to hold on to that. I guess I'm going to sell this shield because I don't plan to use a shield. Worse than war rations, these. Broken source collars I'll keep just in case there's a story sort of reason. I'll keep the cooking pot, ink pot, quill, feather, eye, earth essence, rope, ink pot and quill, sharp. Okay, I'll keep all these. I'll, keep, I'll sell this gold cup. I've got an extra bedroll here, but I'm not going to sell that one. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. Alright, I think I'm going to keep all the rest of this stuff. So now I have 839 gold. Does anybody else have anything they want to sell? Mug of wine. Hold on, let's transfer some stuff. Let's transfer some other stuff to my to my salesman character. So unusually large orange is worth a hell of a lot of money. I wonder if it's worth something really good. Well, you know what? Let's sell it. Let's sell the mug of wine. Let's sell these grenades. I might use the frying pan, I don't know. Let's sell this bucket. Worth Sell all these stained space. shirts and shit. All this threadbare clothes. I'm gonna sell this stolen bedroll. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. He's got an extra bedroll right here that I can keep. I'm going to keep these extra staves, I guess. I'm never going to use this decaying touch scroll. Let's sell that. And I might not use any of these skill books, but I'm going to hold on to them for right now. Just in case. Just in case. Alright, now let's go back to him. Ain't fit for beasts. 
We go back into the trade menu. Oh, it mixed all his shit up. Instead of having all the new stuff that I wanted to sell down at the bottom. Alright, sell this bedroll. Um, Worse than war rations, please. All this threadbare stuff. This bucket. These other grenades. This scroll. And this mug of wine. All right, we'll sell all this. Worse than war rations, please. And then I don't think I'm going to buy anything at this moment. Even though there's things here that she has that I wouldn't mind having, like the elaborate knee pads and the scale helmet and this Hilda's plate and rawhide scale armor and resurrection scrolls. Those are expensive. Holy shit. I mean, there's a lot of stuff she actually has in this wizard hat. But the problem is it's all kind of expensive. And I don't know if it would really be worth it if I'm just going to find better gear soon for free. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem worth it to spend a really large percentage of my money on this mediocre ass gear. Even these nice green boots. Should I really be spending 139 at this point? And I think the answer is no. So... I just took whatever money I could get off of her, and I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna buy anything right now. So, now I'm up to almost a thousand gold, though, which feels good. Anyway, now, what does she have to say? Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Procured by special means. Hmm. I'd rather buy directly from your source. Hey, oh, nice try, Midge. Now, uh, put that shiner away, and I'll shave a little off the top, how about? Wait, did I just get a discount with her after Still I just... Feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Feel free to take a gander at the stock, if you're so inclined. I'll have a look, as long as it's quality stuff. Only the finest, you know. No, I still have the same discount as always. Okay. Nothing I can do with her right now. Alright, now we've got some... Oh, I forgot to sell the unusually large orange. Hold Still on. on your feet, eh? Only the finest, you know. Oh, it must be a quest item. Because it doesn't even show up as an option for me to sell it. Okay, that's good then. Now I know. Not to sell it. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did me so much. Requisition for supplies. Magister's note. I just need to go into my backpack. Auto sort. Alright, I've got some leather here, which is superior to what I'm wearing. Oh, and it looks interesting. A little more like armor, I guess. And I've got some made shoes, Don't tell anyone where you got which are a little better than what I'm wearing. And muddy mittens, which are a little better than what I'm wearing. So then I go to him. He can wear this leather armor. And he can wear these tattered shoes. And he can wear these muddy mittens. And I go to her. She's already got a stained shirt. So does she. At least she could wear these boots, so that she's no longer walking around barefoot. It's fine to be barefoot if you're an elf, because all the elves are barefoot, but it's weird to be barefoot if you're not an elf. 
We'll put some gloves on her as well. Ain't fit for beasts. One of these people should have crafting ingredients in their fucking backpack so that I've got all this crap cleared out of my inventory, but I don't think I feel like doing that right now. Ifon's only carrying 34 pounds now, so that's great. He can pick up a shit ton of loot. I got that special shipment you was asking after. Got it. So my main guy now has 17 physical armor and 11 magic armor. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, so next we're gonna talk to... Camp Boss Griff himself, and I'll bet he's gonna have some kind of quest for us. I'll bet he is. Do I want to do any... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to piss him off by using his cooking station. I don't want to reduce my... I don't want to reduce my rep with him. He's He's an important character. You're pretty squishy still, and you use glass cannon. What's the drawback on glass cannon again? Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves didn't eat so much. Now I need to redo all that transferring stuff that I just did. So I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear these. I'm gonna wear these. Bane is gonna wear this. And these. And these. Sabeel is not gonna wear any of that. She's gonna wear these and these. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves didn't eat so much. Alright, I think we're good. So... Oh, we're warm. I was like, why are we glowing red like that? Because we're near the fire, and so we have the warm status on us. We've talked to Hilda. Alright, let's talk to Camp Boss Griff, who seems important. He's so important he doesn't wear a shirt, so you know that's pretty serious. I wonder if he's going to recognize the fact that I'm standing here wearing his leather shirt. It's literally his shirt that he's taken off and laid on the ground. And I just picked it up and put it on. <laughs> Is he going to notice? That would be hilarious if he does. I'll talk to Griff. Seville gently places a hand on the small of your bag. Her mouth reaches your ear with a whisper. Let me have a word with the gentleman, would you? I have a little clue to follow up on. <laughs> you saw what happened the last time. Yeah, that's fine. Always, Seville gets what she wants. Of course. Feel free to speak first. Seville steps forward and asks Griff the cook about the lone wolves. A dead little birdie told her he's the man to talk to. A little back and forth ensues. Money crosses hands, and before you know it, Sibyl stands back beside you, all smiles. Thank you. We should make good on our escape, you know. I have to see a man about a wolf in the Hollow Marshes. A big bad wolf? Naught but a whelp in skillful hands, I'm sure. Zalaskar's his name. A name for the taking, if it comes to that. Alright, cool. Journal updated. If a magister finds this on you, you forget Sabeel my name. Sabeel knelt with Griff and learned that there's a lone wolf smuggler out in the swamps known as the Hollow Marshes. Zalaskar is the smuggler's name. If she manages to find him, that'll be her chance to question a lone wolf.
Let's try talking to Sabil again now. The ravaged among the ruins. That is all we are in Fort Joy. What do you think our next move should be? We may see no bars, but we are firmly behind them here and now. As I hunt for answers, escape must ever be on our minds. What answers are you hunting for? Let's save those for later, shall we? Not All right, quite let's, the thing let's I go. tend to share. Let's go. What's her what's my rep with her now? Attitude. Here's the 32. Piece. That seems good. What you wanted. Got All right. It. Now, we're going to talk to the Griff master wearing his shirt. Here we go. Perhaps it does. Griff is slowly methodically peeling the skin from a potato. As you approach, he looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. Okay. While Griff is doing all that, let's, um... Why can't I sneak? I got that special shipment you was asking after. Everything there. Good. What are you there for? So void woken are attracted to swords. But why? When another divine arises, we'll Oh, I see, because Griff has an AoE detection radius, not just a cone. Why hasn't Alexander What if I do this? And this? No, it instantly breaks. There's no way to pick his pocket without, like, I don't know what I'd have to do. Invisibility won't get it done, so... Oh, maybe if my sneaking was really high, it would reduce his... Because, look at his cone. His, his cone... Oh, it's just a big-ass fucking circle, isn't it? Well, hmm. Like, who would be detecting up here if it isn't Griff? He's got to be detecting behind himself. So I don't think I'm going to be picking his pocket. Alright, if I can't pick his pocket, let's talk about Barter. Oh, he has a bunch of money too. Keep it down, will you? Griff's overpriced Drew. Look at the price on that! Oh my god! A controlled, highly addictive substance capable of altering human consciousness. Drugs are expensive, apparently. 4,940 gold. And he's got an invisibility potion. This elixir temporarily coats you in an invisibility spell. The bottle appears to be empty, but... But it's really expensive. 470 gold. It'd be nice to have that. It'd be nice to pickpocket that, but... Okay. I'm just wondering if I have enough sneaking, if I could actually still sneak up behind this guy and pick his pocket. I've got that special shit what? He was after. Everything there? Are you in charge around here? <clears throat> Who's asking? Uh, a fellow inmate. I have some questions. He smirks and holds the little knife up to the light, watching it glint. I'm listening. Well, I'm interested in trade. Sure. Have a look. Good stuff, huh? What do you know about the Magisters and their cure for sorcerers? Oh, they'll cure you of your source. Nightshade will cure you of an headache, too. I'm looking for a way out of this place. Can't help you there. <laughs> if I could, I wouldn't be here peeling goddamn potatoes. 
I've heard you're a good friend to have, and I was wondering if there's anything I can help you with. He points the tip of his blade at the grisly sight of the elf hunched over, clutching his knees in the cage. Wait, what? What elf hunched over clutching his knees in the cage? Oh, I didn't even notice this guy over here. Everything there? Good. Man, everybody's so fucking mean to elves in this game. It's crazy. I solve my own problems. I wonder... You know how Elodie died because we didn't take care of her thing right away. I wonder if there was another quest here that we could have gotten from him to like track down that elf or something and it resolved itself without us. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to know, right? I'm super curious. Like very curious. I'm I'm so curious in fact that I'm gonna load my old game real quick and just see. Load my old game from way back here. And just see what happens. I also need to like make some more real saves that aren't that aren't Quick saves. Alright, so if I go back to this point, this is when Elodie's still alive. Disgusting. Like, we, we basically just walked into town. So if I run over here, and I come down and talk to Griff. What a crumbling disaster. A delivery. Surely you'll have one. What? Stingtail's here. Oh, because I haven't... Snake face. Because I, we haven't killed Stingtail yet, so we didn't know that those two talk. Now, if I talk to Groof now... What? <clears throat> Who's asking? He smirks. I'm listening. He points the tip of his blade. I solve my own problems. Alright, that answers that question. That answers that question. The answer is no. If you come to him right away, he does not have some different quest for you. Oh, but he might be extra mad at you if you do fight the two off that are threatening Elodie. Then when you go to Griff, he might be like pissed. Or if I kill those other guys, if I kill these fuckers over here at this table, then Griff might be really mad, or something. Worse than war rations, these. All right, let's talk to him with my other people and see what happens. Griff glances from his blade to you, and back again. Oh, the sparkler card. You answer a few questions for me. He smirks. I'm listening. He points the tip. I solve my own. Pro Hold on, Griff. Glances from his blade. Let's come back to this sparkler concept. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. He smirks. I'm listening. He points the tip. I solve my own problems. Hmm. Griff glances from his blade to you and he smirks. I'm listening. I wonder if I should do this or if I should hold on to the sparkler card. Fuck it, let's let's give him the card. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. I got this card from a dying man. I reckon it belongs to you. He turns the card over and holds it up to the light, smirking. Got your hands on my sparkler, did ya? Well, put it to good use. The louses I have at the card table could use a good shake-up. All right, then. He smirks. I'm listening. 
That's all for now. Interesting. So he wants me to go use the sparkler on the guys at the card table. I got hmm. special well, shipment you was asking. I was Jack. expecting more from talking to Griff, honestly. Not a lot just happened. Okay, what if I go back to the card table? Let's see how fast my people can get there. For more freshy fresh, let me guess. You came across a bit of gold and want to turn it into a bit more. I have 921 golds. I'd like to play another round of cards. <laughs> Pleasure, Chief. Deal them up, Topsy. Bottle top deals a hand, and each player glances at their cards. Right, we've heard Slug this before. Down two pink birds and a grim leaf. Bottle top folds. Look Ralvo at this. I lay down the sparkler. Model. Ralvo's eyes linger on the table, where the card lies as innocent as a piece of cardboard can be. His gaze travels up your torso to meet your eyes. Now, where do you get a thing like that, mate? I got it from a fellow who nicked it from Griff. You know, mate. I've met plenty of folks with a death wish before. Here more than anywhere else. Reckon I'll hand you credit for being creative. Let's make this quick. Oh. And then I have to fight them. Okay, hold on. Let's try this other option. Let's try lying and saying we got it from Griff, which actually is kind of true in the sense that we just tried to give it to Griff and he basically gave it back to us. Basically true. Yeah, what of it? Back for more freshy. F <laughs> Bottle top deep slug lays down. Ralvo's up. Now, where do you get a thing like that, mate? Griff gave it to me. Ralvo counts out the entirety of the table's pot without breaking eye contact. Go. How much did he give me? Oh, like a hundred gold. Haha, uh -huh, sucker! Keep hunting, Wolfie. He doesn't want to play no more games now, does he? All right, so we've been through this area. We've been through this area. Let's come over here and check out the other side of Griff's region. There's a person here we need to talk to. We're gonna to talk to the elf in the cage. This game is really well made. Like, it's just well crafted overall. I'm I'm really impressed with it. Watch yourself. We've talked to Waltz. Wooden box. Patrolman Kraus. Oh, let's talk to this guy as he walks by. Hold on, Lois, talk to the dog. The dog stops in its tracks and stands stock still. The hair on its back bristles as it focuses on a spot in the middle of your chest and growls. Lois will kneel and offer up a hand to show the dog she means no harm. The thing within contorts your face into a snarl. Before oh shit. You can stop yourself, you growl back at the dog and let out a loud bark. Okay, this is awesome. Los has Los specific pet pal dialogue, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, uh. Sort of sound Gracie. Los specific pet pal. Oh, that motherfucker left, like, in a hurry. Worse than war rations, please. 
Okay, hold on. Let's go up here. Wooden box. Junk. Oh. Wooden box is literally junk. Oh, he's got those skills that he can, that he can, um... Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did me so much. That he can learn. Tell anyone where you got this, eh? Keep it down, will ya? Ain't fit for beasts. Talk my way out. Wits. Ain't fit for beasts. I'm going to keep arrowheads on him because he's the one that might craft arrows. What do I need to make arrows? I wonder if I can use short sticks to make arrows. Like let's say I want to take this and I want to combine a short stick with a knockdown arrowhead. Did not work. Oh, I need to probably carve the stick into into a um into an arrow first or something. So let's say I take my shiv combined with a short stick. There we go. Arrow shaft. Nice. And then I take... So then Fane has eight arrow shafts now. If I take these arrow shafts... Like if I take an arrowhead or a poisoned arrowhead and I combine it with an arrow shaft, I get a poison arrow. And if I take the shaft and I combine it with a knockdown arrowhead, don't I have a knockdown arrowhead? Oh no, those are actual arrows. If I take an arrowhead and combine it with my ooze barrel... I get poison arrowheads. Then if I take poison arrowheads and combine them with arrow shafts... I get poison arrows. So now he's got several poison arrows along with his wood chips to Ifan. So that's another way that he can make a poison surface is by shooting a poison arrow. going well. 
Oh, but anyway, I can learn his new skills now. So now I go to my friend Fane's skill book. And let's see. Chicken Claw, Backlash, Chameleon Cloak, and Chloroform. Chloroform destroys 9 to 10 magic armor and tries to set sleeping for one turn. Don't know if that's really all that great. It could be a way to pick somebody's pocket, though. What's the range on this? Oh, I can throw it at somebody from pretty far away. That's not bad, actually. Whoa, I can throw it at somebody from really far away. And put him to sleep. Okay, that's actually kind of awesome, especially if they don't know. Like, if I'm stealthed. Alright, time to do some testing. It's F5 time to test some shit out. Let's say, I, let's say I'm super sneaky. Or not, apparently. I can never sneak, apparently. Okay, now I'm sneaking. Now, while I'm in stealth... I want to knock this guy out. He seems upset. Oh, but he didn't know who did it, though. It didn't work on him because he had magic armor. Wits. I need to try it on somebody who doesn't have magic armor. Needle has magic armor. I need to see how I can most effectively use that. Where did butter go? Where did butter go? Butter's always there. She always stands right in one spot. Doesn't she? Well, let's grab this poisoned baked potato real quick. That's a very small amount of healing, but whatever. Maybe Butter escaped! And I'll see her again in the next town. Who doesn't have... Why does everybody... Why do all these rando asshole villagers have fucking magic armor? Alright, Dominic doesn't. Let's try this now. We're gonna grab Fane. And we're gonna go to we're gonna, gonna go to Sneaky Town, and we're gonna throw this on a fool, and it knocks him the fuck out. I don't know anything about it. All right. So, if somebody gets assaulted by chloroform in town, even if they don't know who did it, they still know a crime happened, just like with pickpocketing. But if I used it on a monster or something, or like, oh, it'd be so good for sneaking past somebody. Let's say I need to sneak past somebody, but I can't because their vision cone is all up in my shit, but I could throw a chloroform at them from far away, knock them out, and then scuttle past them real quick. Seems kind of cool. Um, but I want this throwing knife ability quite a bit. It can backstab. It's ranged. Problem is, I don't... Have a, I don't really want to get rid of... I think I'll get rid of chloroform... For now? 
I don't know, it's only one action point, and it puts somebody to sleep for a turn, so even in combat it would be pretty fucking good. Maybe I'll get rid of Chameleon Cloak. No, I'm not gonna get rid of Chameleon Cloak, that's stupid. Maybe I won't get rid of anything right now. I'll just hold on to this and once I get another slot, when I level up or whatever. All right. We need to talk to Nusi and Amaro. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did mean so much. Quick save before I talk to this guy in case people freak the fuck out. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just. Oh! Oh, that's Griff's barter. I'm like, this Amrigo has a shit ton of money for some reason. Shut up, Elf. This Elf seems badly injured. Why is he being held here? This clown. Caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Are you How are you sure he's the culprit? Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Went down like a rent boy. Damn. Uh, what is it exactly? What is it exactly that he's meant to have stolen? Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk, or he'll die quiet. Okay, so that's the crate of supplies that, um, Waltz is looking for. Would you really kill a man over a few pieces of fruit? Ain't been here long, have ya? <clears throat> no one gets to have it all. No one starves anyone else. He twirls his knife between his fingers. Divine's gone. This blade is the only god watching over Fort Joy. I have no right to keep a man locked up here in such bad conditions. Listen up. Back off. Not like this. There's too many of them. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll find your stolen supplies and return them. And then you let this elf go. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate and you got yourself a deal. Yay, I did get a quest from Griff. The imprisoned elf. Oh, I did find... I did find his crate. It says so right here. Found Griff's supply crate, but there was nothing inside. Perhaps the contents are still nearby. Griff mentioned that his goods were stored in a marked crate full of citrus fruits. This should make the search a little easier. Is this where I got the unusually large orange? And boss Griff has tasked us with recovering his stolen goods. We should start by questioning the caged elf, Amaro. Alright, let's start by talking to Griff again. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. I'd like to discuss our deal. You already know the terms. Nothing else to say. I'll take my leave then. Worse than war rations, please. All right, let's talk to the elf. The plot is thickening. Dude, that cloud of steam that we made by putting water down and then putting fire on the water is has been there forever. It's like permanent steam for the rest of time. <laughs> An elf, caked in mud and blood, looks up at you from the bottom of the cage. 
he holds his shoulder at a strange angle. Despite his condition, he appears eager for your attention. You... You... Believe what he says? That I am a thief? No, I wouldn't pass, put it past a man like that to lock up whomever he pleases. Perceptive. Like most men behind bars, I'm innocent. <laughs> like most of us here on the island, in fact. Aren't you like me, looking for a way out? Why would you make that assumption? Some people settle in. They don't go poking around in Griff's kitchen. They find a quiet place, wait their turn. Not you. How did you end up in that cage? Griff tells you, does he not? I take his supplies, but I don't take what he thinks. I do not have his oranges. I do not even see them. I'll tell you what I know. But first, I want to make a trade. What is it that you have in mind? I know a way out. I show you. And you? You help me out of here. I cannot die in this cage. How can I trust you to hold up your end of the bargain? Trust is all we have here. I do not counterfeit. I have... honor. All right, I agree. This arrangement sounds good for both of us. Finally. Progress. Griff releases me if he sees I do not have what he misses. We... You... Must find who steals them. After I am free... You are free. What were you doing snooping around Griff's kitchen anyway? I intend no harm. I want only some provisions. A bit of bread, a potato or two. Nothing Griff should be loath to give. I need to escape and, and I have... people to consider. You understand. Do you have any idea who took the supplies Griff is after? I see no one. In fact, I only hear the sound of Griff clearing his throat. You know how he does? <clears throat> like so. For some time, I think Griff takes his own supplies. But I see the anger in him that he does not find it. He truly does not find what he seeks. Well, it wasn't very hard. I literally walked out of town for five minutes and found that crate. Do you know why Griff is so hell-bent on getting these particular supplies back? Griff is a powerful man. Power is mysterious, in case you haven't <clears throat> noticed. I understand. Thank you. And hurry. Please. Amrio hinted that whoever took Griff's supplies might share a certain physical tick of Griff's, repeatedly clearing his throat. Please. I will not survive forever here. Neither will she. Who is she? I hope he's not talking about a Lodi, because I got bad news for you, pal. Caked in mud. You. You. Believe what he says. That I am a thief. Do you have an alternate account for why you're locked up? Perceptive. Like most men behind bars, I'm innocent. Don't waste like your breath. It doesn't look like you have many left to spare. Huh. I am fine. The question is, are you... And how long does that last in a place like this? I don't want to make any alliances. You and I make a deal, not an alliance. I'm not interested. He grabs at the bars of his cage, hard. His hands tremble, even as he tightens his grip. Please. What do you have in mind? I know a way out. I show you. 
All right, you, let's do this. Finally, Griff released after I am free. You are free. Goodbye. Thank you. Now let's see if I talk to him with another elf. What happens? An elf caked in you. You. It's the same? I believe what he says, but I am a thief. I have no reason not to. Never trust the man who holds the key to another's freedom. Would you trust the fellows who strap that collar around your neck? Like me, you look for your own freedom. Out of Fort Joy, am I correct? No, I'm just having a look around. Too bad. I think maybe we help each other. I don't want to get involved. Then I die. She dies. We all die. Never mind. Go. Goodbye. And I don't think anything new is going to be sayable with Losa, but let's check. Can you... You... Believe... Perceptive. I do. But... You guess I need something to grift. I'll tell you what I know. I know a way up. Finally. Griff. After I am free. Thank you. Okay. So we got a new quest. We have a lot of quests going on. Now, the next thing I want to do, since we've already found the stuff, I want to talk to Waltz and say something to her that I had the option to say before, but I didn't say it because I didn't know if it was true or not. And now it actually is true. And so... Waltz. Let's, let's talk about this real quick. I want to tell you that I found the crate and see what she says. Get her. Heard any word about the stolen supplies? Come on, freshy, out with it. I found that old crate, but it was empty as all get out. Empty? Who gives a goblin's ass? The point is to get back the supplies inside. Come on, noggin first, eh? I'm also looking for the stolen crate. Do you have any leads? If I did, I wouldn't give them up to you. Griff sent me, not you. Actually, I am working on Griff's behalf. Look, I'm Griff's right hand, and I'm gonna find that crate, and you're gonna watch me hand it over to him. I don't think so. I'm going to go hand it to him right now, and you will just have to fail a whole bunch. Excuse me, Griff. I was on my way to bring you back this crate, and I couldn't help but notice that Waltz was incredibly failing to bring you this crate. Just saying. Let's finish Griff this up. glances from his blade to you and back again. I found your oranges. Here. Griff tears into one of the oranges with both hands. Juice squirts through his hands as he desperately rips through the rind. Does he have, like, scurvy or something? Or is he getting scurvy? Looks like everything's accounted for. Now the important question. Who's the thief? He had something hidden in the unusually large orange. Well... It was Lizard Stingtail was the culprit, but now he's dead. He raises an eyebrow. <gasps> I just got so much XP. Looks like someone did my job for me. Your guy's free to go. He should be fine. <laughs> Eventually. Imprisoned elf. Where the fuck is Griff going? Oh, I just got a bunch more XP. And quickly. I thank you. Very, very much. I hold my end of the bargain. I show you the way out. But I have something more to ask of you. All right, what do you mean? Xahela, a young girl here. I am her protector, and she is... She is... Everything. A ruler. 
a seer, a knower, a child. She cannot, <coughs> cannot be lost here. All right. I'll do whatever it takes to fulfill your request. It is for all our people, for the world. Give me your map. <coughs> I show you the way out. A secret. Dangerous. But it leads to freedom. That was easy enough. I give you this amulet. Ah. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. She is important. I go to her. I wish you good luck, and I thank you for us all. Oh, another new quest. Okay, hold on. Before we just let this guy run it off. Oh, I literally can't talk to him. There, he's no longer talkable to -able. Okay, hold on. First things first, I got... I got this. Sahela's Crest. Oh, look at this! It's a sweet amulet with magic armor and intelligence and poison resistance and lucky charm. The eight-pointed star depicted on this finely crafted amulet, considered heretical by the Church of the Seven, represents the seven gods and the one oversoul that unites them with humanity. But I can't equip it because I've got this stupid collar on. Okay, fine. In that case, let's take a look at my journal. Return Griff's stone in good state. Amaro is free. He told us of someone named Sahela who had great importance to him. We should follow him to her. She will likely be very happy to reunite with Amaro. Oh, too late with the following him thing. Amaro told us that the tribal elves on the mainland need to be informed of Sahela's fate. After saving Amaro, he's told us of a way out of this place and asked that we make contact with a group of free elves to inform them of the elf Sahela's presence in Fort Joy. We should look for a secret passage that he marked on our map. Alright, perfect. Talk to Griff again real quick. Ah, oh, you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look... You know who you look like? The moon. <laughs> I bet you hear that all the time, don't you? I wonder what my rep is with him now. Sure. Have a look. It's still only ten. I didn't gain rep with him for bringing back his stupid orange. Well, whatever. Alright, let's take my leave. Ah, oh, you're back. Alright, so we could try to follow Amaro, but we'll just go and find wherever he went later. Let's look at the map. So there's a hideout. There's the underground, there's a dig spot, there's Stingtail, Boris, Salaskar. And the crocodiles. I don't see any... Is that hideout? The place where the... Because that was already marked on my map for some reason. But I don't know. But maybe that's where he went, to that hideout. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later when we when we get to it. Um, Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did me Next so thing much. we're going to do is talk to Nusi. And then, we'll come over here and explore this section over here, here, this little area, this area over here, this up here, this part here, and then that section will be complete, and then we'll see what's over here, and if they'll let us in there or not, and they probably won't, and then, after that, we'll be done exploring the main inside the walls part of the fort. So we'll talk to Nusi next. But all of that 
is going to be in our next episode. Because that's going to do it for this one. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Divinity Original Sin 2.